Hey San Antonio, this is Rob for the Metalworks tonight. I am at the Sunken Gardens to check out the 99.5 KISS Fall Frenzy. And we are heading it out tonight with a band right out of here in Texas. You let me welcome a very successful band this past year, Dallas from Dallas, Drowning Pool. How are you guys doing, man? What's up, brother? What's up? Uh, it's been a big year for you guys, Dave. A big, big year. And tonight, man, there's going to be some people for the first time who are hearing about Drowning Pool. Tell us a little bit about the roots of the band and how did you guys get things rolling? Because I heard you guys were doing a lot of successful things even before you were a signed band. Right. Um, our whole motivation has always been about touring and live. And uh, we had a lot of breaks in the beginning with bands like Seven Dust. We got to go out with Kitty. Uh, head PE, mud vein. We uh, and then we did a lot of touring on our own. We would just drive. We drove to California and New York in a van within a week just to to prove ourselves to you know some some booking agents and stuff that we could do it. And uh, once you do that, and they're like, God, I guess these guys will pretty much go anywhere. And we're still got that mentality. We'll go anywhere. We'll play anywhere. And we treat every show like the people have never seen us. So it's like you got to win them over. Got to got to. It's all about the fans, dudes. Period. That's that's the bottom line. You guys have won over a lot of fans this year, and we're going to talk about the success of uh, your debut center. But first of all, let's, let's touch a little bit upon the music. CJ, can you tell me, uh, where, do you, where do you feel that the band falls um, in, in the music genre? Because it's pretty diverse these days. And where do you think the, the vibe is for the music? Uh, we definitely come from just old school rock. We're all big fans of Motley Crue and Van Halen. And um, of course, the music we're doing now is a new style of music, but that's definitely where we come from. That's what we influence trying to put on just a just a good old-fashioned rock show and uh, a lot of people have been turning on to the CD Center it just went platinum not too long ago how do you feel about that I'm thrilled <laughs> I'm very excited I mean honestly guys did you ever even imagine no I mean we were we were ho lucky and just hoping that the thing would go shrink wrap now that it's uh now it's platinum we're just like <sighs> It's kind of uh, it's kind of overwhelming, but and if you think about it too long, it'll kind of screw things up on what you're trying to do. So we go, cool, we're platinum, we hugged, we cried, let's get a beer, let's go do a show. Now you got to get back to work because it's not nowhere near being over. Tell me a little bit. Uh, now you guys are at a certain level of success. Uh, is there anything that you before you got at, at this level of success that you that you learned as you got here? I mean, something that you didn't anticipate as a musician. Uh, there's, there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on behind the <laughs> scenes that you can't really sometimes control. But, you know, it's all, you got to take the good with the bad. And it, and at the end of the day, it's all good anyway. So, you know, there's there's just a lot of red tape stuff sometimes that your hands are just bound. You can't control it. So you just you just go with it. I don't know. There's uh, been a lot of airplay for the video, Bodies. Yeah. Everybody loves that song, man. I know the WWF loves it too because... Um, I know that they're using it now. Yeah. How do you feel about um, about uh, licensing the song out like that? And you know, definitely, no doubt, it fits. Uh, I mean, it's it's a perfect marriage. It makes <laughs> perfect sense. People beating the crap out of each other, hitting hitting the floor, hitting the mat. Uh, we were honored. I mean, that's the most sincere form of flattery when somebody goes, "Can we use your song too?" <laughs> right. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good good thing for us. It's a good thing for them. It's uh, cool. We like wrestling, so. I'd like to see it with some football highlights. <laughs> That's what I'd like to see. I heard you guys are doing a new video too, Stevie. Can you tell me about that for the song Tearaway? Um, yeah. Um, actually, we. Um, I don't know how to answer that question yet. <laughs> well, can you not give out these? Good? We uh, we decided to uh, hold back on releasing the video for Tearaway, okay. and we're gonna go ahead and do a video and release Center as the next single. Oh, okay. So Tearaway's been shelved for a little while. It'll be out eventually, but we decided to uh, to go with Center. Instead, so we got to go make a whole new video. Was was the video experience fun for you? Uh, the first one was was definitely fun. I mean, the second one, of course, it was fun, but it was a little more uh, stifling, I guess. You we were always stuck inside the uh, the little recording. What 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 is that? The, the little sound stage warehouse or whatever. And uh, the first day was cool. You know why Dave had to do all the work. Stevie and I stole a couple golf carts and just ran around Universal Studios and like snuck in the lines and rode some rides and stuff. But uh, you, don't, you didn't hear that. But no, it was great. It, it's always good because you're filming a video. But sometimes it gets a little hurry up and wait. You know, home yeah. home like. <laughs> but but it's good. I mean. It's great to have you guys here in San Antonio, um, and I'm glad to uh, have the opportunity to be here with you guys today, really. Um, I saw y'all at OzFest not too long ago here in San Antonio, and y'all kicked ass. It was a, a big tour for you guys. I, I saw people going crazy during your set. Um, 
tell me a little bit about the Oscars. Did you enjoy doing that? What other tours um, are coming up right now? You're on a, on a big tour again. Is that what you guys want to do for as long as possible? Oh, definitely. Ozfest was one of the greatest experiences that happened to us ever, I think, in our career. It was amazing to get in touch with that many fans every day and hang out with that many people on a mass scale. But um, this tour has been great, doing the Disturbed tour. It's been the best thing, I mean, to follow that up with. And I know beginning of next year, we should be doing a Jägermeister tour. We're going to be headlining that. So y'all be watching for that. It's going to be a badass tour. Yeah. Have you guys even started thinking about uh, after the touring's done, will you start working again or are you not even thinking that far ahead? We're going to, like CJ said, we're going to start a headlining tour in February for Jägermeister. And I don't know how long it'll run. We're going to try to go every place that we've been and then, you know, maybe some places that we haven't been. It's going to be, it's going to be, a, I'd like to think it would be a, a lengthy tour because if you're going to do a last one before you start thinking about a second record, you want to just get it all in there. So that way when you do take some time off, they're still going to be thinking about that tour. So I don't, February, March, April, May, but, gosh. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll slide right into the next Oz Fest. If they if they ask us to come back, we'll tour our tour right up until Oz Fest, go right into Oz Fest, and then after Oz Fest, then we'll stop and make a second record. Yeah, if we have anything to say about it, we'll tour, I would imagine, all the way up till October or November of next year, awesome. and then take a little bit of a break, but not too long, write some new material, get the next record out, you know, almost like clockwork, just like the last one, about June, May yeah, yeah. of 2003, and then just head back out again. Hey guys, I'd like to uh, touch for a second on a somber note. Um, we all know what happened in New York this month. It was a terrible thing. But tell me uh, personally, how has it affected the way you feel or think about living in the United States? Um, well, it certainly makes you think twice every time you know you have to get on a plane. Um, other than that, I think everything's getting back to normal. I mean, you know, I, we were all so in shock for you know the first few days after that that. Uh, that, you know, I, I didn't really think about how it would affect, you know, our everyday life. But now that I've had time to sit back and think about it, you know, the, the, the flight's really the only thing that, that, that concerns me or, you know, has bothered me, you know. I'd like to see us, you know, go there and do something about it. Is that what you feel we should do, Dave? Are you backing the president and his action with the military? I'm pissed. I, I you know... You know, we, we should forgive and move on. No, 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 no. We should load and go over there. I mean, they picked a fight with the biggest kid on the block, and they're going to feel it. And, you know, hey, this is, they, they drew first blood, you know, so it's on. The gloves are off. Sorry, sorry, you weren't going to get any politically correct <laughs> bullshit out of me. We should go over there and whoop their ass, period. Killer, Dave. Uh, any last words for the people out there in San Antonio, man, before we close it out? Any last words, man? I hope y'all come out to the show. Check it out. It's going to be a damn good show. Any last words, Dave? Uh, Johnny Pool will be on tour for the rest of our lives. Please come out and support us because we support you. It's all about you guys. San Antonio, if you do not have it, this is the debut called Sinner. Be sure to go out and look for it. Remember, Drowning Pool rocks right here on Rob's Metalworks. Yeah.